Okay, so a very quick tip when it comes to beating up obtuse corners, so corners which are ever so slightly over 90 degree. And now the temptation might be to run a stop bead, uh, which is ideal when it is a very, very wide angle. But on corners which are ever so slightly above 90 degrees, this is what we do. So you can see here on this corner here, if I was to have a look at the skirting line here, you can see it is ever so slightly above 90 degrees. So what we're gonna do, instead of running a stop bead, which is really difficult to get nice and neat when you're doing a re-skim on old plaster, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna just bend out the bead ever so slightly. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a high quality bead. In this case, we're gonna use Katnix. It's pretty much exclusively what we use. And what we do is we're just gonna ever so slightly just bend out the bead, just a fraction, not an awful lot. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the entire bead, opening it up, and then we're gonna fix it to the wall. Okay, so now we have just opened uh, the whole way length along the bead. We haven't had to open up very much at all. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna carefully uh, put it onto the wall like so, and then nail it on. So all I'm gonna do is just use this really cheap parkside uh, nail. I think I picked this up from Indy in the UK or something like that. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna push this on to the bead like so. And then just nail it in. Uh, don't be alarmed at the fact that those nails are sticking out. We're gonna tack those in in a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nail this on and then just tap those nails in with a hammer. So there you have it, a super easy little trick just to beat up those uh, obtuse corners which are ever so slightly above 90 degrees. Obviously, as soon as it starts going over 100 degrees, you know, 120 degree uh, corners, that's when you're really gonna wanna start using a stop bead. But the nice thing about using uh, a corner bead is that you're gonna get it an awful lot straighter, an awful lot easier. You can do it with stop beads, it's just easier this way. Not only that, you're reducing the risk of it cracking, uh, which sometimes you can get on a stop bead uh, against the side that doesn't have the wing, sometimes it can end up cracking. So just a little bit of tip, when you're getting corners with just slightly over the 90 degrees, just bend them out ever so slightly, and it'll make it an awful lot easier to fit those beads nice and tight to the wall. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing.